This is a very rare work by the Danish-born artist, uh, Russian-trained and experienced, Theodora Krarup. Uh, she signed the picture up here, which is very significant, and that the 13, the 12, the 19, 16 is a significant date in the sitter's life. This is Rasputin, uh, who originally was a poor Siberian monk uh, in Russia that made fast friends with the uh, family of Nicholas II. Purportedly, and as witnessed by Krarup, because of his healing powers to stop the uh, hemophiliac bleeding, uncontrollable bleeding of the Tsarevich Alexei. Rasputin made a lot of enemies uh, in the court, and uh, there were people that used him as a conduit um, for their opposition to appointments by Nicholas II. Theodore Krarup came to Russia after studying in Berlin and Paris and became an accomplished portraiture artist before she arrived uh, in St. Petersburg. One of the ways that she made her way into the royal family, the imperial family, is that the empress, the widow of Alexander III, who had just died, the father of Nicholas II, was the former Dagmar of Denmark, so she was a Dane as well. They made fast friends, and the first thing the empress did was have Theodora Kraut do a portrait of her late husband. Then she made her way into the royal family and did portraits of, of everyone in the family. Of course, as we know, the 1917 Bolshevik Revolution, uh, Krarup stayed on in Russia because of her great work and stayed until 1938 when she was forced to either accept Soviet citizenship or leave. She chose to destroy her pictures and take a few with her back to Denmark. And this picture is one that was kept, one that was done in 1916 in December, the month of the date and date of the death of Rasputin. And Rasputin, again, was murdered by members, uh, cousins of the, the Tsar, uh, because they felt he had an inordinate amount of influence over the imperial family. He was found dead, shot, strangled in the Neva River. This very possibly is the last picture that was done of life, in, from life, of Rasputin. Uh, Krarup knew him well, and when she left Russia to go back to Denmark in 1938, she promised Rasputin's family that she would rehabilitate his image and uh, portray him as the holy man, the great man that he was to the family.